Hello, welcome to the project Fast Food Web Application. In this video, we will create a virtual environment and we will install Django. I am using Windows CMD, commands are the same on Linux or Mac. First, I will change the directory. I created a folder for my project. I didn't create the folder fast food yet, so I will access to the folder Django. After that, I will create a new folder fast food. To create a new folder, we use the command mkdir, that means make directory. I will use the command cd change directory to access to the folder fast food. Before we go any further, Check if Python is available from your command line. Use the command python dash dash version. I have Python 3.7. I recommend you to use a version 3.7 for this project. If you don't get the same result, you have to install Django or you have to add Django to the path. Next step, we will create a virtual environment. A virtual environment is a tool to create isolated Python environments. I will put a link in description about the virtual environment. To install virtual environment, use the command python -m pip install virtual env. I have already installed virtual environment. I have the version 16.6.1. is a new version of pip. I will upgrade my pip command. To upgrade the pip command, I will use the command python dash m pip install dash dash upgrade pip. Next step, we will create a virtual env for our project. To check the version of the virtual env, use the command python -m virtual env version. To create a virtual env, use the command python -m virtual env the env. The env is the name of my virtual env. You can use another name if you like. The installation may took few minutes. That depends the, of the speed of your computer and the speed of your internet. We will use the command dir to check if uh, the folder vm was created. A folder of a virtual environment was created in the folder of my project fast food to activate the virtual environment use the command vm or the name of your virtual env anti slash scripts anti slash activate be careful it is anti slash and not slash now it's time to install Django. Use the command pip install Django. To install a specific version of Django, use the command pip install Django equal equal the number of the version. The installation can took few minutes. Django will be installed in the virtual env. We can't access to Django without activating the virtual environment. Django is installed successfully. I hope it's the same for you.
To check the version of Django, use the command python -m django dash dash version. I am using the last version of Django 3.1. If you are watching the video where the new version isn't 3.1, use the command pip install django equal equal 3.1 to install the same version as the video. Next, we will create the Django project. To create a project with Django, use the command python -m django start project and the name of your project. I am using the command dir to check if the new project was created successfully. I will access to the project directory, change directory, imagine food. I will access to the project directory, change directory, imagine food. I will use the command manage.py run server to run a localhost server and to check if my Django project was installed correctly. Copy the address of localhost and pass it into the browser. If your Django project was installed correctly, you will get the message The install worked successfully. Congratulations! This is the end of this video. If you have issues in installing Django, comment and we will try to fix it together. Until the next video, take care.